everyone, welcome to Adisat TV Gaming Time. Here's the intro. First, starting off with the smaller things, Fortnite Season 5 has officially arrived. Now, I'm not too sure if that's to say the same for everyone else in the world, but it is here. It introduces the mechanic of time travel and how the worlds are colliding and things are changing up and it may not ever be the same. But how can they map Season 4? Well, we're just going to have to wait and see because I think we can all agree the best thing about the last season was Thanos from Avengers Infinity War. So if you don't know, um, Anthem released a new 20 minute screen gameplay footage last week. A quick reminder before you go and see Ant-Man and the Wasp, or if it's not out in your country yet, then you can go and buy the DLC level for Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2. Apparently it's out now. By rumour sources, a new Crash game is set to be released next year, but how, what do they mean by new? New as remastered or new as of a new game in the Crash Bandicoot timeline? Just going to wait and see. And if all goes so well and this comes out on the day that it should come out on, Lego Incredibles, the video game, should be out now. Um, it's got the two first game through two first movies into the game so um, yeah enjoy. Now I've refilmed this part so many times that it gets to the point where I do get fed up saying this but Star Wars Battlefront 2 had a new content update with a new skin with um, I'm forgetting everything now <laughs> oh yeah with new game improvements a new mode etc um, basically detailing everything from the roadmap but also a hotfix has been is gonna they're working on a hotfix at the moment to fix all the problems because they had to remove Darth Sidious for the reasons that you should know already um, and also the voice actors for the Clone Wars has been confirmed by well these people yes those will be the voice actors for Obi-Wan Kenobi to General Grievous to Anakin Skywalker. Count Dooku is unknown. I just want to talk about Star Wars Knights of the Force for a bit. Um, I've been playing the mod for quite some time I have. I plan to do a review of it in the nearby future. But if you want to go and never download it and play it, you can. The main story will still work and it's very good. Apparently they're adding more, hopefully more stuff in the next update from The Last Jedi. Anyway, Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Ali's at Gaming Time, I guess it's been a while, and peace guys, see ya.